Hi guys, welcome back to the Let Me Spin You a Yarn podcast. Today is episode 26. It's been about a month since I filmed a regular episode, so I've got a lot of FOs, um, a few whips, and no acquisitions today, um, which is not as big of a feat as it sounds like if you saw my Rhinebeck haul. <laughs> so let's jump right into it. If you see me glancing down, I've got some notes. Um, first things first, um, I have kind of been on a kick of learning new skills lately. Um, ever since I did my first sweater and realized it wasn't nearly as scary as I thought it was. So I decided to try cables and this is not blocked. Um, just a warning. So it will look nicer once it's blocked, but I did the Snowy River Cowl, which is these nice big cables, and I have a stitch marker and I'm not sure why. Big cables, if you can see that. And some eyelets. So this is, uh, the yarn is Haiku Simply Natural in the shade 003 natural and it is a 40% baby alpaca, 40% fine merino wool, 20% mulberry silk. So yeah, it's really soft. It's really pretty. Um, like I said, it'll um, look a little bit nicer when it's blocked out, but this is going to be a Christmas gift and it is gorgeous and I'm very excited about it and proud that I learned to do cables. So that is number one. Uh, my other three finished objects are all socks and they're all for me. Um, let's see. The first one, I think you would have seen these on the last episode, I believe. Yes. These are my sock blank socks by, um, the sock blank is by Weird Sisters Wool Emporium. Um, this is their Lorelei base which is a 75% wool, 20% nylon, 5% stellina. This is the stars who listen gradient. So how they normally do it is they dye it as a sock blank and then they um, skein it up. But I had asked them to leave it as a sock blank for me. So that is what they did. I believe I had finished this first sock and I was here on the second. So they are now finished and I, they don't match at all, which I don't care, and I love them. If you can tell, they're a little bit, the stitches are a little bit wavy. Not super neat. That's because um, it was a sock blank and I unraveled it as I went. Um, but once I block them, Let's be honest, I'm not going to block them. Once I wear them and then wash them, um, they'll look a lot neater, like normal socks. Second finished object. I've used all my sock blockers. I need some more. Um, next. These are some Halloween-y shorty socks. Um, the colorway is zombie apocalypse by pretty twisted yarns and it is on her lush base which is a 75 25 so i did shorties and i don't know if you can tell it is not a heel flap and gusset i decided again to try something new so this is a german short row heel um on the first sock i was pretty sure i hated it by the time I was done on the second sock, I decided it was all right. So I may make those again in the future, um, German short row heels, but I really like this self striping because it's got the three solid colors, but then it has the stripes with speckles in the middle. And I love a good speckle for sock yarn. So these are really cute. I know Halloween is over, but I'm still going to enjoy wearing them very much. Uh, one more. Again, selfish knit. I need to really get working on some Christmas knits. Um, I've done a lot over the course of the year, but I have a lot more to go. 
So these, this is, this is my large sock blockers. So these are kind of stretched out a little bit. They um, should really be on the medium ones, but I didn't have any space. These are another kind of fall Halloween-y pair of socks. This yarn is a one-of-a-kind yarn that my friend HM Fibercraft dyed for me for my birthday. Um, it is on his marshmallow sock, which is an 80-20, so you can get the base. Just this was a one-of-a-kind colorway. Very cute fall kind of Halloween-y vibes. And I forgot to mention all three of these pairs of socks, um, Magic Loop on Chow Goo Needles, size one, kind of my standard, my favorite. Um, I don't remember what size I knit. At one point, I was knitting a 60 stitch cast on and then I went down to 56. And I'm not sure which of these is which. I know that this one is a 56 stitch cast on. So the heel flap is a little shorter and the gusset, but I can't wait to wear these. I'll keep showing them close up, but I do really love this yarn. There's, ignore the, the dog hair. That would be put in. I don't know if you can really tell, but the stitch definition is really nice. Um, they're soft and I have socks knit out of um, his yarn other than this and they get even softer once they're worn so they're really nice so yeah that is my four fo's i have three whips uh this first one i don't know if i had cast this on the last time i talked with you guys i don't think so this is kind of still a baby whip. This is gonna be the Stormy Skies Shawl, Stormy Skies Shawl, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. Just basically like some garter and some drop stitches and some eyelets. And I am doing this in Sorella's Silk DK base, which is 50% Merino, 50% Silk. And these are the three colors that I will be using. Um, a couple of them are from her Little Mermaid collection, which I think was like last summer, I'm not sure. But the colorways are um, Grotto, Treasure Trove, and Blue Lagoon. So this one is um, probably gonna take some time. It's not a priority whip. I've got other things that I'm excited about but it will get done eventually. Pop that over there. Uh, next whip is another pair of socks. I've got all my yarn tangled, which is the life of a knitter, and I'm in the middle of a row. These, I don't know if I had these cast on last time, probably not. DK weight socks, this is some more one-of-a-kind yarn from HM Fibercraft, both the blue and the chocolatey brown. But these I did Magic Loop on size threes. I used the Crazy Sock Ladies Vanilla Sock, the DK Vanilla Sock pattern, which is free. Did um, a pretty long cuff, I think like 15 rounds in a 45 round leg. I finished the gusset decreases and I'm on the foot. This is just the first sock. So this is a gift. I am working on some gift knits. There's that. I've already gotten my Christmas bags out. And last whip is another one that I'm pretty, uh, really proud of. Um, this is the Unchained Melody hat. And I've never done color work before. So I'm learning to do color work. I've actually finished the color work portion of this. So the yarn is, this is the leftovers of the yarn from the cowl, the Haiku Simply Natural, and um, Nitpick Swish Worsted in Estuary Heather, which was left over from my um, sweater. So I've just, just finished the color work. 
which I think is very, very pretty. My floats are looking a little messy because I'm new and learning, but we'll get better. So now I just have to knit the rest of the hat. This is again, like I said, another gift. And I feel like it looks better on camera than it does in person, but it is very pretty. How many times did I say that? All right, I think that's it. I do have the giveaway winner from episode 25. I used a random comment picker website um, where you can, basically it picks a random comment out of all of the comments, but everybody's only entered once, if that makes sense. So if you did multiple comments, you still only had one entry. And the winner, and I'll put it on the screen here as well, is Kathy Zumwalt. Um, so Kathy, if you could email me at sarahknits at gmail.com with your shipping info, I will get that yarn that I don't have right here to show um, sent off to you. Um, I'll put a comment under your comment from the last video also. So yeah, I had a lot to talk about, but I feel like we just zoomed through it. So uh, a short one today. Nothing crazy going on life-wise. I'm looking at my cats over there who are being very, very cute and snuggling. I got some rats. That, that's new. I got two pet rats, which freaks almost everybody out, but um, I think they're cute and they're very smart. Yeah, that's it. I will see you in a few weeks for episode 27. In the meantime, always remember to be kind to each other and thanks for watching. Bye.